my channel serious gamer so um i hope you can see the screen already once more today i just um i'm just back here to prove the formation um once again i posted it already before but now i think i have something better something i was always looking for and it's working um fantastic <laughs> it's working very fine now that's what i mean to say so i'm just excited about this formation because i can't stop playing it um you've seen it already so it's nothing new but i just wish to talk about it once more following this big this is not the best um, the first time i'm winning with it i've been playing for like five matches now but doing it now against a big team i guess it's just um great so this is christensen two four six goals from christensen then another five from abrahamson another three from this guy and just too many scorers in the game and let's see how the players felt um one midfielder two assists then my attacking midfielder five assists that great um five assists in a match then somebody off the bench to assist and funny enough i think these people are the people following me at the back that's the second position team in the premier league now let's check 500 plus passes it had to be 43 shots now i don't think this is my best in any match but because of the players i have now they get to score almost at each time they try so let's see the formation once more and let's see what i was talking about the player now i have two strikers i once posted a guy that was at 99 so that was when i was at saint etienne after i left they stopped playing the guy for i don't know any reason for over three years now i had to go and take him at a much cheaper price because i know what he was worth over 200 million before i left so now this is the guy and he just came in this season um first second half of the season that five goals in 22 matches and that's wow i hope you can see his form throughout the last um six matches 10 10 10. now this is my schedule so i will show you what i've been talking about the formation some might say it's because my had the red card but i don't think that's enough reason for you to lose that much now you can see how the formation has been working out and against big teams too so i think the smallest team i've played here is this one that even got 5-3 i think my players were tired that day so you can see the scores you can see the scores here now this is the formation once more i've talked about it before so um let's talk about it again just once more this is the formation just that this time i had to make um, my second striker to shift it to the left again the reason being that the one at the um, left hand side seemed to be the main person always scoring more but now joining them together there is no difference anybody can score at any time that's why they are scoring at the same pace one person scoring six and the other scoring five then one man behind them now um two center midfielders then because the midfield is that empty i had to push this um the defensive midfielder back for back uh ward a little bit and the advantage of pushing the defensive midfielder that way is that you can actually play a center back in that position and see so what i'm talking about this tobias is not actually a defensive midfielder but when you push your your um the defensive midfield position to that place then your defensive midfielder can play it same thing as this position when you push it forward towards the 18 yard box then you can play your center forward there easily it mustn't be as you can see it mustn't be a center forward and um, uh, an attacking midfielder there anymore so your center forward can play it. so that's just one trick um i left i've learned from this and being that when you move this one towards the 18 it helps out in the attack more and when you push this one towards the 18, your own 18 yard boss, the defensive midfielder, it helps more in the defense. So, um, for those who haven't seen the formation before, let's see the rules we are using this time. It's no longer attacking midfielder, it's a supporting striker to target man. And you can see the rest, full backs so, to support the defense and a ball winning midfielder. So, this I think makes it more balanced. And then, these are the instructions. Uh, I didn't even use the best in the last match. These are the instructions. So, I think that's all to know about the formation for those who haven't seen it the first time we posted this is just like a second video about the video and the formation sorry so that's all about it i'll see maybe i'll still talk about the formation when i play someone 20 zero this time i wouldn't allow them to score but for now that's it for the video as usual you drop any question you have in the comment section like and subscribe if you haven't done so
I, I don't see any reason why you shouldn't have subscribed up to now. So um, that's it for today. See you guys in my next video. Thanks.